Hey guys, had some questions on hand filing chisel bit chain. Chisel bit filing, chisel bit chain. Thought I'd throw something together here in a video that maybe help you out. Um, there's some really good videos out there. Steel made a really nice one a couple months ago, maybe last fall, it came out. Great video in the sense that it shows the animation with the lines and the angles and all that sort of thing. Good stuff. But here's the sort of the, the snafu is the videos that I see, one, they're using a brand new bar, a brand new chain, and a brand new file, which is fine, works great. But when everything is new, it makes it easier. When things start to get used, that's when this hand filing can get a little harder. So I do things a little bit differently. In order to, uh, one, maintain the life of these files as long as possible, this puppy was $9. I bought three of them. I didn't want a whole box. I don't use them. I use a grinder. But to get make the video, nine bucks. I think they're seven to eight bucks a piece buy them by the box. You want to get as much life out of this as possible. So when you see the videos of the guys filing into the tooth from the outside in, keep in mind that eight dollar file is going into the chrome on your tooth. I was shown years ago, Soren Erickson showed us a long time ago, filing out of the tooth, actually coming from the inside and going out. So Here's what I do, a couple things. One is you gotta, when you start doing this, just like round filing in the woods, your eye starts to find that spot where it's kind of comfortable to get your saw set up. You just kind of get to know that. So what I find is you can see here, my saw is setting against the log, bar up like this. So once I'm comfortable here, I start loosening the bar nuts up, tighten the chain up tighter than what you run it at because one of the issues that happens with chisel bit filing is the, the tooth actually moving so I got my little model here if you can picture that file if you start pushing on the file whether you're going out or in doesn't matter and that that tooth starts to move it's going to be harder to keep that corner of your file in the corner of your tooth and that's why I say when you got a new bar, new chain, new file, it's easier. But we all know you're going to get a, start getting a little bit of uh, play in your bar, okay? And that too starts to move around, and that gets things get weird. So tighten the chain up. Then I move the tooth I'm going to sharpen right here, just before it starts to go around the tip of the bar. And that's where I find that it's the most secure. As I'm filing I don't have that tooth moving on me as I mentioned I'm going out of the tooth so I'm not filing into the chrome and by looking into the tooth here from this direction I can watch every stroke of my file I can see what my file is cutting and we want that proverbial corner to corner look right that line that forms with that chisel bit file the inside of the tooth so maybe I can show you here Right, look up those other videos and they're better at showing this, but you want to line that corner going from the corner of your tooth down into the bottom corner there. Here's where I, this is the most common problem I see folks doing with trying to hand file. What happens is it's almost, you could almost say it's not the fault of the user of the file, it's the file. So here's what happens. That file, if I can show you looking straight on, Get over here in the daylight so you can see what I'm talking about. That point where those two small bevels come together, right on, right on the top, right there, that's the first part of your file that's going to go dull because it's the weakest part of your file, right? Just like an axe, right? If you've got a really, really sharp axe but there's no strength to the edge, you're going to lose that edge. Same thing with that file. That top corner you're gonna see that corner edge right there start to get shiny. When that happens, hey, go back to the model. 
I know it's not proportional, but you'll, you'll get the idea here. When, you, when you're filing, in or out, doesn't matter, when you lose that corner of your file, it stops cutting steel right here. And once that file stops getting rid of that steel, as you go across, you know, when, you, when you're filing, the file, each stroke of your file will incrementally start to file upward. And it won't be getting rid of, let me do it here, right? You won't be getting rid of that steel. So as your file starts to walk up here, obviously it's gonna to start to walk up here. That's the problem, is trying to keep your file clean in good shape so that it stays down in where it's supposed to be. Once we lose that corner, what I see folks doing is they'll start to lean the file backwards. So as, they, as they're filing, you'll start to sort of, I call it, chase that cutting edge. And that's when your side plate angle, okay, which should lean forward five degrees, if you start chasing that, those two cutting edges, especially your top plate, right, you start chasing after that by leaning the file into it, your side plate angle is gonna incrementally start to lean backwards. That happens, you can have sharp cutting edges, right? Your top and side plate can be sharp, but they're leaning backwards. Remember that the tooth does not travel in a straight line through the log. That point hooks into the fiber and the tooth rocks backwards slightly. So you can see that there. If you're starting with your side plate straight up and down, then when the tooth kicks backwards and is actually doing the cutting, you see where your side plate is actually leaning backwards. So have your side plate five degrees forward, hooks into the wood, you see where that comes back to 90 degrees to your bar, takes a chip out and then it drops, drops down. So the, the term they use is porpoising. That's how your chain goes through the wood. It's all hooked into the, you know, your rivets, allows that tooth or eat all of the teeth to sort of porpoise, if you will, through the log. So hopefully that helps, you know, try going out of the tooth. And I, again, that key is to keep that tooth from moving each stroke of the file, watch what's happening, and then adjust ever so slightly as you see what you're doing. Hopefully that helps. Have a good day, guys.